Welcome to Artificial Intelligence Photoshop Action Tutorial Video. Let's see how to apply this Photoshop Action. First, open your image in Photoshop. Then, we need to make sure that our mode is in RGB color and 8 bit channel. This is our image and then we need to check its image size image size between 2000 to 4000 pixel is suitable, suitable for this photoshop action and so let's uh, 3000 pixel is optimum so let's use 3000 pixel then image size between 70 to 300 resolution is fine okay That's fine. Then we need to select the area where we want to apply this Photoshop action on the image. So that we need to make a new layer. We can give any name to that layer. I am giving the name Valo Brush. Okay, fine. Then we need to uh, brush over the image in that layer so we can choose any color and select the brush brush tool and uh, let's brush in inside that layer so and select the area where we want to apply this for action so I am brushing over the image Okay, fine. Okay, that's the area I want to apply. 
this effect fine this is the basic adjustments then we need to load photoshop brushes patterns and actions for this uh, this effect so these uh, actions brushes and patterns are included in the zip file that we download uh, so let's load that so for that from edit preset preset manager here is brush uh, brushes select the brushes and load inside the zip file there is a folder artificial intelligence inside that there is a brushes select that one and load open so that a brushes loaded then let's load patterns so select patterns then load since I go to that folder inside that zip file there is artificial intelligence folder inside and that there is a patterns select that one and load a patterns loader fine so let's click that so that's done now let's select uh, photoshop action we need to load that for scratch so that uh, window action then we get a action window from that click here and then there is a pop up menu. from that select a load action follow the same procedure from artificial intelligence for there is a photoshop action this is the action so select a photoshop action and load yes this is a photoshop action it is loaded inside the photoshop photoshop fine uh, i will explain this action about this action this a artificial intelligence action this is the main uh, this is the main action file artificial intelligence action and below actions are all are small small customization actions first five actions are adjusting the color effect of the main effect then uh, remain uh, six actions are adjustment and ad doing adjustments on light effect light effect of that action so anyway we need to first play this main IA artificial intelligence action and if we need for the customization we can play remaining actions okay fine before playing the action we need to make sure one more thing we need to select brush tool and we need to make sure its opacity is 100 and flow is also 100 then mode should be normal brush mode fine now we uh, done almost all the basic adjustments now we can play the action so uh, let's uh, set a artificial insertion this one and let's just play click play button this is uh, artificial within Photoshop action action just play Uh, now there is uh, color effect actions and light light effect actions are included before going to that actions let's uh, see how this action work uh, see it's highly detailed artwork a lot of highly technological effect is there Now let's uh, play color of dashes. So there is uh, blue, red, green, yellow, and the default color. Mm, five color of dashes. So let's first play a blue action. Let's play. Yes, action just apply. See blue color of dashes. And just apply. 
so it's easy we don't need to spend much time on customization in just one click we can get this color effect then if you want a red color tone if you want red color tone uh, just play red action see uh, red color action apply this change the color tone of the effect reddish tone uh, then there is uh, green let's play green action Green action apply in just one click. It's also very easy. Then there is yellow. Let's play yellow. See, yellow color also apply. Then, if you want to bring back to the default color, that gray color tone, just play the uh, fifth action. There is gray default color. See that action apply. It, bring back to default color tone even then again you can apply apply this color protection anytime if you want to uh, if you like that green color effect then you, you can play the green green effect again so you bring back okay. then you can again bring back to gray gray tone by just playing that action it's easy so this is uh, color effect actions then there is uh, light effect actions also let's play light effect action light effect action changed when i applied light one action uh, then if i play light two action like light effect again changed then i play light three Light effect also changes. Uh, let's play any color of action. Then I play this light action. You can you see uh, that light light effect is clearly visible. So I play. I'm going to play blue action. So blue light or uh, blue color is there. Then let's play first light one action. So there is a different light. Then I play light two action. See then color of it light up it changed then there is light 3 then there's a different uh, color tone sorry light light up and then there is light 4 so there is a little more uh, different light effect then there is light 5 so light 5 give a very bright light Okay, fine. Then there is light six. Light six is default light effect. That is bring back to the first light effect, default light effect when the first AI should play. So this is the default light effect. So this is light action. Then you can compare this light effect action with a different color effect action. Then green, uh, red. It's easy. And then you can combine it with different light of attraction, like three, light four. So I'm bringing back to uh, default light effect and default uh, gray effect. Fine. Now uh, there is a lot more customization possibilities are there. Uh, so I will explain each layer uh, uh, so you will get a better idea uh, let's play blue color action so you will get uh, easily understand that right? so first uh, there is uh, a background lighting let's start with the background lighting there is a uh, one more layer for adjusting light uh, there is a main light layer it is uh, it determines the light effect of the background uh, so this is a gradient by changing this gradient angle 
you can change that background light up and see how it works it's very useful you can change total light of it by using this uh, adjustment okay yes that's my light then there is shadow uh, shadow layer uh, this shadow layer give shade to the bottom area of the image you can change its angle also and you can see there is a difference in the light okay fine these two layers determine the background lighting effect that's fine then there is background setting there there is background pattern layer light background background as fine then there is a subject element a particle a blue particle background lighting layers and adjustment layers so we check background settings and lighting then let's see what is a elements inside a elements a elements a subject elements there is a lot of subject particles you can check all this then there is the main thing is the pattern server you can see pattern server let's show it so this is pattern server you can change its size by changing the scale of this layer can change the size of that uh, layer file then simply you can check pattern similar patterns that's for, for a subject element then there is a particle inside a particle there is there is media particle black then polygon particle then large particle black then pattern file then white particle You can transform all these layers if you need, that's fine. Then there is black and white color. And this layer determine uh, this layer give black and white tone to all particles below that layer. Then there is blue particle. Blue particle layers between there is blue line one blue line two blue light one blue particle so, so let's uh, convert it into gray color tone then we can easily identify this particle so inside blue particle you can see these are the blue particle blue polygon blue light blue lines blue line one fine that's blue particle then there is foreground lighting there is lighting three lighting two lighting one uh, currently these layers lighting is zero you can increase its opacity uh, and go lighting to the image fine so whether it's lighting too we can also increase its opacity and give different light then there is lighting one okay you can check all these layers opacity that's fine then there is adjustment layer inside adjustment layers there is a lot of gradients and all these layers determine the color tone of the image 
uh, okay uh, when we collect all these uh, layers opacity some of the layers opacity is zero we can increase its opacity so uh, its color tone changed then we can change to any color tone we can bring any color give any color graphic to this color tone So maybe we can change to any color. We can give it gold, uh, red, and dark. Fine. Okay. Okay. So we can give any color on here. And I can increase the opacity to. Let's see. Then there is gradient to also uh, adjust the brightness. Yes, you can check out these legs. Then there is a brightness. You can change the brightness here. Then there is a levels. You can change level. Mm. I am reducing the color now uh, to show you the hue and saturation effect. Inside the hue and saturation, you can change the color tone. So you can change this light of uh, sorry color effect easily here. You can change to any color by changing hue and saturation. Then we have. To uh, in gray color mode, we can easily change this uh, blue particle color by changing your saturation. That's fine. And let's step back where. Okay. So that's our just one. So we checked uh, most of these layers. That's fine. So this is uh, artificial intelligence Photoshop action. Uh, I hope uh, you like this. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Have a nice day.